I'm amazed that more people don't give credit where credit's due. I think that nobody is self-made in this world. I don't think anyone can do a job on their own without having really good support people around them. That's family, friends, uh, workmates, whatever it is. Mm. It's really hard, especially when you have a family. Yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about something. We're, we just changed topics of what we we're going to talk about because it was happening in real time, which is working and being a mom, working and being a parent that is a present parent. That's what I want to talk about. Wait, does that look so cute on you, by the way? Thanks. I just to say that. You, you look great. I feel like because I haven't seen your face all day, this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Thank you. Uh, the only reason why we're talking about this one today is because, let me just give you a backstory. Shawnee comes over and she's like, let's, we got to like do some solos. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it in my kitchen. And she's like, can't do it in the kitchen because if we do it in the kitchen, the kids are going to come home. We're going to have to do this. We're going to have to do that. It's going to take five hours to do like three 10 minute episodes. And I'm like giving her a hard time. I'm like, don't be ridiculous. It'll take like no time. We're going to knock it out. We fine. And this went on for a bit. And lo and behold, what happens? My kids come home from school and it is like becomes mayhem. Mom, I want to watch the iPad. Mom, I want to like watch, do this. And it was like not World War Three, but it was like a, it was like a whole thing in the house where like where, where the kids are going to go. If I can watch an iPad about the sports, when they're going to go to the sports, timing of everything, how I'm going to like fit in certain things that I need to get done for work, then balance that out with what I'm going to have to do with my kids for their schedule. Let me tell you, this is not an easy job. If you want to be a good parent and have a thriving career, it is hard. Mm. That is all I'm going to say. This is not really for it. For I'm not going to like go and, hype and, and philosophize all the other stuff, but I just want to say for... People who are listening, if you are somebody who is a working parent, God bless you. It is not easy. I am with you. It is hard. And I think people who don't know don't know how hard it is to do both well. And you need a real great support team, which is kind of what I really want to talk about, which is I'm amazed that more people don't give credit where credit's due. I think that nobody is self-made in this world. I don't think anyone can do a job on their own without having really good support people around them. That's family, friends, workmates, whatever it is. Mm. It's really hard, especially when you have a family. And um, that's really what I want to, I want to talk that. I want to talk about it. I think that, you know, we have to give ourselves a break and the guilt factor is something that is real. And if it's not guilt it's about figuring constantly trying to like trial and error how to do do it well I know you're only like 12 so you don't understand this yet <laughs> I, love, I love how young you feel <laughs> you make me feel so young every time I come here it's great well you know you're young like a middle schooler well kind of <laughs> but you don't know people like I said people who don't know don't know right okay and but so you, it's you hard. also choose to do the podcast in the kitchen when you have a perfectly fine office downstairs like we're on hour two and a half and we've done two and a, a tiny bit of another yes, episode because and this is why because Dylan God bless him keeps on asking me something about the iPad or a snack or this this is what happened this is my point Wait, if we were, this if is we were downstairs, downstairs, even if I was downstairs what do you this mean? is my you point went two and a half hours True. straight without getting interrupted during your interview and you do that consistently because you're Listen. downstairs you choose to do them inside of the okay kitchen. I choose to do it because I want to be visible to my children this is the part that I'm telling you if you don't know you don't know and if you're not a, if you're not a mother you don't understand sometimes oh, it's really a good idea that's, that's to be not why visible you like doing it in the kitchen don't lie you well, no, that's why I like to do it in the kitchen. What? Oh, that's another reason. I like that. I think it's better here. My my office is a de a dungeon, but that's that's a whole other story. I'll take, not a dungeon. That's like a that okay. Is that kind is of the main. True. Jen never but, tells me it's so she can be visible for her children. She only ever says because the lighting. Had you said be visible for the children, I would have been more understanding. So this is the first time I'm ever hearing of this liar. reasoning. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, well, that's, that's one of the things. The <laughs> truth of the matter is, my point that I'm trying to make is, it's very difficult to do both things really well. And so you do a lot of like self-talk in your head, like, well, if I'm working, at least if I'm visible, they around. can see me around, it's better. But is it if you can't pay attention to them? It's probably not that, that much better. It's better to maybe be more efficient, 
I guess, which is leading me to my point, more efficient and being not visible and doing it quicker. And then, then you can become more available and present because at the end of the day, it's about having time that you are very present and focused as opposed to fra- fragmented and fractured and then only spending, you know, 30% of your uh, actual time or ca- brain capacity on, on being uh, around. Anyway, like it's, it's, con- no, it's that's good. That's important. No, I think it's, I think what happens is I think it's constantly, it's like a work in progress. It's like, I don't have all the answers. I'm just now just riffing with anybody who maybe understands what I'm talking about. And maybe if you can relate great. And if not, well, then you could just fast forward this episode <laughs> to the next one. But this is what's going on in my head right now. It's just really hard. And, um, I do the best I can like everybody else. And we should, be a little bit easy on ourselves, mm. you know? Like, that's the bottom line. Like, sometimes it's okay that you're not fantastic every day, and it's hard. So, that's all. I think every single mom who has a career can understand with that. I think even if they don't have a career, like, getting just regular tasks and errands and stuff done when you have kids is, like, so difficult. Especially when they're not of, like, autonomous age where you have to actually, like, look out for them and make sure that they don't get hurt or fall or, you know, if they need to be fed and things like that. Well, I think it gets... Sometimes I think it gets actually people when I when I when my kids were babies I actually thought that it was it was really hard then because they were not mobile like they you had to stay like with them, them 24 right. hours you know you you couldn't just leave it's actually more difficult as they get older because their wants they it's their wants may be different and they may change but they're just as demanding on you like mm, I'm literally an Uber you. <laughs> talking back to me but more than that you become like an Uber like basically my <laughs> schedule now is not my own it's like what can I do around the schedule of my two kids right one has to be at dance at this time my other one has to be at basketball then he needs to be at soccer then this one needs to be at gymnastics it's like how do you navigate around the Uber that's mm. literally what it is and then like what happens is you have to create a situation where you are way more efficient with your time actually you got to be way more efficient with your time so you can actually knock out the things that you need to do for yourself to accommodate your kids schedule so you know which is kind of funny because of this whole where am I going to do this podcast solo (laughs) upstairs or downstairs because on that one-off moment where I'm like you know what let's do it upstairs so I can be visible and I like it better up there because it looks better and all the other stuff like I think it's become the, the antithesis of what I was trying to accomplish, which is efficiency. Go figure. That's what it is, right? So anyway, that's, that's what it is. Most importantly, I guess the uh, message of the day is don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back if you're trying to do both well. It's hard. I hear you. I got you. And I'm commiserating with you. Wait, really quick. I think that you should, oh, well, this will segue into the next episode, but I want to give you your flowers because I think that what you do with Dylan, for example, is so valuable and important and you never really give in. And I think that that's really essential. Like a lot of parents just throw their the devices and not to blame them by any means. I'm sure I'm going to be quite the device parent myself. I'm going to give them like an AI nanny. Right. But, <laughs> but, as in, but as in like the fact that you hold out on that and you really like force them to be creative and be outside and be active, that's really commendable. And you never like relent no matter no matter how hard or how much harder it is on you you know that you're doing what's best for them and you stick to your guns on that thank I think you that's really freaking cool wow yeah that's really nice i appreciate that let me say that that's what took all this time that's why these two yes that is why two and a half hours do, to do 10 minute two episodes <laughs> has taken that long because i refuse to give in to this ipad mania <laughs> mania which drives me crazy, uh, but it does. It is time-consuming to do it to do it better, not to do it right. Because there's been lots of times when I have to actually like give in. I'm a human being. But so with that said, the actionable item, the takeaway for today, is don't be so hard on yourself. Balance is not a real thing. What you do learn is efficiency, and you do learn patience because you need tons of them. <laughs> That's it. So go discuss it in the Facebook group in the Facebook group (laughs) or the mastermind um, or leave me a review and tell me how you're coping and managing and doing. That's it.